hello friends welcome back so today we are going to see uh, basically going to answer uh, a top three comments and there are multiple likes on those comments so uh, instead of giving answer on each comment thought to make a video and just had a few clarification so what's going on so let's start today's video uh, though this basically for the comments uh, which i'm getting regularly nowadays so let's see what are those comments and let's start for that okay so let's start so very first comment is day-to-day -day activities of cloud support engineer this is a top best comment and there are multiple likes on this comment uh, as well as seen this comment on almost uh, all videos that what are uh, the day-to-day -day activities for the cloud support uh, engineer the next one is what skill set must needed for cloud support engineer uh, this is also the second uh, largest uh, comment seen so far and the last one is very interesting uh, seen uh, this asked in multiple ways that i have a skill set but not getting jobs emails and calls okay so let's see uh, what we can uh, do on this three question so let's see very first one day to day activities of cloud support engineer okay so uh, it's cloud support engineer it's not limited uh, to one particular cloud okay let's uh, for example okay uh, this applicable for all clouds but let's take example for aws okay so aws or uh, azure anyone right so let's take example on aws what are those activities for the cloud support engineer so first we need to understand there are two things one is the support engineer and another is a devops engineer okay so there are two things we need to understand support engineer who is supporting uh, to the customer and the devops engineer who is specialized to work on the product specific so for the support engineer okay so uh, day life for the support engineer or day to day activity we can say it is involved a combination okay there are combination where uh, very first it's uh, the support engineer helping their customer and uh, to resolve their applications their issue their support related uh, any queries okay and the another part of the support engineer to debugging the problem building and maintenance uh, of uh, the aws infrastructure so suppose uh, if you uh, enter in the office the very first thing you need to check all the, uh, uh, always your emails then your priority tasks and then uh, you need to help out the customer whatever emails or the calls there are two things right uh, uh, in the it world either you get email of the issue or either you will get ticket of the issue for the support engineer okay and for the uh, uh, devops engineer you might use jira agile uh, for your developing works correct so let's talk about the support engineer as uh, this is our top question so, okay so for the support engineer basically uh, they need to help the customers okay uh, so schedule a call with customer understand their problem uh, debug that issue okay uh, try to build a similar uh, a replica uh, issue in your lab environment try to resolve that this is the type of work uh, basically for support engineer as well as support engineer need to ensure their infrastructure it is up to date okay uh, vulnerable free it is uh, up to the mark security risk free okay you need to test continually and um, gain your knowledge on the infrastructure point of view that is uh, number one task on the same note for the devops engineer right those are basically work on uh, the product specific uh, just like uh, ecs aks cloud formation uh, then uh, open works like chef okay uh, those are uh, devops engineer basically work on those area automations okay ci cd pipeline okay so there are two parts support engineer devops engineer as discussed earlier okay so you need to understand what is your roles and responsibility and, and is a point of interview preparation okay you must know what uh, 
the person who is uh, taking interview and the position job description you must read before going to interview and uh, answer the questions accordingly if it is support related you need to talk more about uh, the customer success story correct uh, where uh, which issue you resolve when it is resolved how much time it will took and all those stuff and uh, show some history about that case uh, who all are work uh, from whom you have taken uh, the help okay what you have done uh, talk uh, about everything okay so this is the one for day to day activity uh, for support engineer interview point of view so let's talk about uh, the skill set what skill set uh, required for cloud support engineer so as a nowadays right uh, everything is going on cloud okay so whoever supporting on premise environment okay they can directly go on the cloud environment you must know the basic knowledge about the cloud okay so let's take example aws cloud you should know what is the aws cloud how the application is getting installed how the backend is work what is iis what is paas what is uh, saas okay so all these things you supposed to know okay and you need a good understanding of aws application cloud computing networking uh, the system administration like ec2 uh, administration scripting knowledge you must know automate uh, if you uh, in interview they must ask you uh, what you have automated how you have tested okay so all this knowledge at least if you not have in deep so at least basic knowledge you should know how you can automate at least you can automate anything like uh, using powershell script okay if you don't know python that is fine okay but at least you should know uh, how to use the uh, powershell okay the another part of uh, the skill set which is nowadays uh, uh, is frequently asking uh, in interview it is about security okay how you secure your cloud okay what are those method you will use okay uh, do uh, as you know uh, there are multiple way like i am and uh, uh, cloud support uh, I, ha I have made, already made the video for those uh, please go ahead and watch uh, cloud audit checklist and security uh, there is a uh, uh, six videos for those please go ahead and watch that okay then uh, the system architecture you supposed to know then network administration uh, the networking this is the basic thing which is required for cloud support engineer okay and let's uh, talk about uh, the third point the third question i have skill set but not getting jobs emails and calls so there, there are multiple things right why you are not uh, receiving uh, job emails and calls okay so you need to understand nowadays everything is automated even hr job also automated okay so they have everything automated they uh, the i uh, automation uh, like uh, i okay it will go search the uh, jobs.coms uh, and everything okay it will search the keywords okay uh, what are the matching keywords in your resume and accordingly you will get automatic email from the recruiter okay so now i have seen many recruiters started uh, using automation uh, so you will get automation email and the end of the email it is it will mention like this is automated email if the skill set not matching kindly ignore ignore correct so you need to ensure all your skill set okay what is required for that job uh, purpose it is already there okay uh, your resume need to up to date okay and uh, cover letter also you need to add you need to mention enough experience education uh, as well as uh, uh, show some uh, do not show if you have changed multiple companies in a shorter period of time or if is there any reasonable reason then try to add that as well and uh, most important thing right uh, highlight your skill okay uh, i can say instead of skill i can say highlight your selling points okay so uh, if uh, let's take example if you are going to market purchase something okay it and uh, on the shop owner right if he is selling something and the skills which he is using the words he, which he is using okay to sell their product okay similarly you need to use those attractive words uh, where 
uh, easily your CV will get noticed and uh, uh, looks attractive okay so you need to use all those kind of different different word and how you are different from another candidate okay what what special you have okay you need to mention all those thing uh, in your resume okay so let me repeat once again in simple words okay keep your resume attractive use all keywords okay as now everything is automated even hr jobs also automated okay so you need to ensure all the keywords which is required for that particular job it is there okay if you are applying any job ensure that keywords which is mentioned in description job description which is required for that particular job it is there in your resume okay if you have 10 plus years experience and if you still not adding those skill set definitely you will not get emails for the call or calls for the job okay so you need to ensure uh, all those keywords uh, need to add in your uh, resume so let's let's uh, let me share one of uh, the example right uh, i am receiving uh, i am also taking interviews for a few of my clients okay so many uh, resume okay i'm not uh, going through uh, all to all from first page to last page it's very simple right open seven eight resume at a time and use a keyword and search if the keyword is matching resume will get selected okay keyword not matching just ignore that okay so simple keyword is very important so i think yeah that's it uh, if you have still have any questions please reply back to me in the comment section i will try to uh, answer you and uh, if possible uh, we'll make a video on that topic as well okay so that's it for today uh, keep watching and happy learning thanks